What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes with today's Hogwarts Legacy update. This is update 1.004 here on PS5. And of course today is February the 18th. I will have these patch notes linked down in the description uh, in case you want to read over them for yourself. The update itself was only 927 megabytes here on PS5. It did not have a fix for the blue player or the blue player bug issue yet where your player looks blue. If you're having that problem, I have a video that can tell you how to fix that. I will pop it up in the top corner right now. Let's talk about what today's uh, update did. Uh, they addressed the overall game performance and stability for primarily the PS5. They fixed the issues for the achievement data not properly working with the Wizarding World portal. They also fixed the trophy cap limit with the collector's edition of the game. When it comes to the owl mail, they fixed an issue with the mail not properly triggering, uh, kind of with the correct mission. I noticed in game a few days ago, I was getting owl mail one after the other, like each one was popping up just one after another. And I'm assuming it was not supposed to do that. I was assuming those were supposed to come in as kind of the mission, you know, as the, you were supposed to do the mission and not one after another. So hopefully that has been fixed. Also, they fixed the uh, issue where you were crashing around certain locations where in-game world events spawn. They fixed a rare crash when spawning NPCs in the world. They fixed a rare crash with some NPC uh, schedules. They fixed the issue where flickering occurred with a transparent head while hair is still present. I did notice there were some character bugs at times where like you would see your hair or something maybe uh, sticking through the hat or a hood. So hopefully those have been uh, kind of worked out. Also some UI fixes. They updated the localized text for additional content items. They added the build version to the first time EULA and they also fix the rare occurrence of mission descriptions not being displayed correctly. When it comes to cinematics, they had some stability issues when skipping cutscenes, so they fixed that, and they also fixed a crash when playing a cutscene or a cinematic. They also cleaned up the auto saves, so the auto saves properly uh, when you're closing the game. Also, they corrected some of the problems where people were having issues when they were doing certain things in games, like they were saving around uh, the time they were talking to a vendor or after an initial conversation, the game was not saving correctly and you would get like these different kind of issues or reported issues. Some of them would be like a HL something you know, with a number. There's a ton of them like HL412, HL944, uh, and kind of so on. Uh, those have all been addressed and hopefully those uh, issues where you're trying to save the game in certain situations and it was not working correctly should work now. They also improved Performance on fidelity mode, they fixed a rare crash around uh, the area we were hovering over the map. They fixed the issue where the wind was causing distortion and stretching of certain world assets. They fixed the rare occurrence of uh, a problem with material swapping. They fixed the rare crash with the map asset state. Also fixed a crash when trying to uh, solve a flying cabinet. And they fixed the rare crash occurring in in-game world events. And that's pretty much it for today's update. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this update. Let me know if the game is running smoother for you. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.